All right, we're back this week and we're gonna do something a little bit different. This might look like an ordinary dining room table. If you think that, you are wrong. It is the, the bones of a zombie fortress. What are you angry about? We just started. This is going to go well. All right, so we're going to go through the process of turning this into a zombie fortress. Obviously, one of the essential uh, building materials is going to be these blankets. I'm pretty sure they're zombie repellent. And right. we have two windows. Yeah, we'll put some windows in there, too, so you can see the zombies coming. All right, she's not moving. We'll just go grab a different one. I think that's just kind of how this is going to go. All right, let's... All right, we're going to need some pillows, too, so let's get these covered up here. Well, you know, you can never be you can never be a hundred percent sure that something's zombie repellent until the zombies actually come. There's there's a little bit of a wild card in play there. I'm not gonna not gonna make any guarantees. That would make me liable for your survival. Arachnid man is here. It's not a real periscope broadcast till he shows up. All right, so I may have vastly overestimated what I can do with one hand as far as building a fortress, but we'll see. Let's see if I can hold this up and still get down there. All right, that looks pretty sturdy. I could hold up to a. Uh, zombie or a hurricane or whatever. All right, pop those on top. We'll use those as weights since I can't use nails. I'm specifically forbidden from nailing things into the table for whatever reason. All right. Table, we got it $50 from an auction a long time ago. And when you cover it up with a tablecloth, which I threw aside, doesn't really matter. Oh, you're going to get a carpet under there? Yes. You know, the room already has carpet. Yeah. So, all right. So yeah, well, can we get up some more walls first? Yeah. I don't think that's going to keep out a zombie the way it is. <laughs> first head bonk of the fortress. All right, let's put this one up here. There we go. Yeah. Uh, you can move the blanket aside. I think the guy just left because he didn't like our table. <laughs> I love the internet. This is a used table from years ago, by the way, in case anyone's wondering. We got it at an auction, and uh, we decided not to buy a nice new one because we have tiny little monsters running around the house who destroy things. Hey, Peekaboo, what are you doing in there? The fortress isn't ready. It's not ready. All right. Scooting him in. Well, we might want to pull him out so you have more headroom down there. All right. Let's rotate this around here. See, they can't move through actual solid wood. The chairs will probably be better walls than anything else here. All right. Let's get these propped up. Fine. <laughs> all right, man. You like the table. I got it. I can read all caps. All right. Well, we got to get the... What am I? Am I your labor force here? You have two hands, too. You can help with this. Apparently, I, I am the indentured servant of this project and supplying all the manual labor. I knew what I signed up for. Who are you huh? The people on here. See those names that pop up? Yeah. There are people watching this and, and yelling at us. What? Can I see? Yeah, see those, those words right there? Those oh. are people talking. Which is that guy say that has the biggest? I don't know. They're debating the merits of the table right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're a little off track. All right. Their hands are small. They can't carry stone, but they can probably manage blankets. Is that where, is that where the window's going all the way in there? A fine, handcrafted cardboard window? No, 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 no. Look at all it from that All right. We're almost there. Are we, out, are we out of blankets? Do we only have three blankets? I thought we had more than this. Yeah, the chairs were bought separately. My wife found those on her Facebook group. I'm not towing you. Apparently, I am towing you. It's all right. It's the zombie apocalypse. You got to conserve energy where you can. No, Let go. <laughs> I'm just adding children to the pile here. Pull it, Daddy. Pull, it, Daddy. Daddy. All right. Pull. I think I'm just going to give up this blanket for loss and try to find another one. There's the bean bag with a hole in it. We discovered and leaking beans all over the house. All right, you got it free. Hey, hey, hey. No. No, no bat screeches. It'll break somebody's phone. It'll cause deafness. I don't want to get sued. Do you know you're in this group, so that means you got to come to us. If you're going to summon me with a bat screech, I'd rather not do that. All right, off. Off. Ah! 
All right, we're almost done with the fortress. Go get the guns. We need guns. There we go. That sprang him into action. <laughs> First serious injury, not even fort related. Are you all right? What happened? All right, you're gonna be fine. Come it's here. Your baby on the line. Come here. All right, I'll do this carrying a kid and a phone. I can do this. And maybe she landed on her face. All right, go get the guns. No screeching. You got a gun? Yeah, you do have a gun. Nope, don't take her gun. There are other guns. Share the guns. There's enough firearms for everyone. I would, I would love auto turrets. Food. Well, I'm actually, I've, I've got a contract to write that book, Only Dead on the Inside, A Parent's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse, and it goes through all the fun things to do for food. Can't give away all my secrets right now, but I can show you how to build this fort. Is that a weapon now? Potato guns, that would be, you could, you could eat a potato gun too, that's a really good idea. You could kill and eat. Somebody there is thinking. We have a blanket. We, we wasted a structural blanket on carpet, what a waste. Okay. I don't think that's going to be real effective. All right, haul your guns and ammo in there and get ready for attack. I'm not wearing my goggles. I may get blinded today. We'll see. I don't know where I drew. Oh, there they are. All right. Don't. <laughs> All right. I can't you. Shh. Inside screeching voice. All right, let's. That's a brain piece. It's a brain piece? I don't think so. All right, load up, load up the gun. Load up the gun. You eat that brain piece from Yeah, zombies don't just eat brains; they eat all of you. So is you this be a potato gun? That is not a potato gun. That's some kind of Nerf dart with a cord on it. Don't eat Nerf darts. The baby already does that. Yeah, she used to just chew on them harmlessly. Then her teeth got sharp, and she actually like bites off chunks and swallows them. So our dart count has diminished incredibly. All right, um, take all the guns inside the fortress, there, Betsy. Come on. All right, get all the guns. You can't. I don't want to be short on guns. Cover up the entrance with a with this. You know, college is the perfect time to build blanket forts. Any time is the perfect time to build blanket forts. All right, we're about ready for the actual fighting here. Well, we we do not have any of the Nerf swords, and I'm certainly not giving them real swords. All right, let me know when you have all your guns loaded up. All right. All right, so this is an inside view of the fortress. It's pretty solid. What are you doing in there? You didn't do any of the work. You're just a moocher, aren't you? All right, I'll attack you when you're sleeping. You'll come out and attack. Yeah. Yeah. We ran out of, ran out of blankets here. My wife may or may not be watching from upstairs on Periscope. I have to watch out for some of the criticisms. And I can't break anything, and she'll know right away. You gotta be Daddy, careful. We gotta, be, we gotta close our eyes like we should die. All right, close your eyes and go to sleep. It's nighttime in the zombie apocalypse. Everybody's sleeping carefully. Arr, yes, sleeping carefully. Arr, yeah, my legs can't handle squatting down there. It's too dangerous. Arr, you gotta shoot. You gotta shoot. Come on, Charlie, get out there. <laughs> I don't know if it would scare away their prom dates and dates are bold. Yeah! Yeah! All right, come down the screeching just a tad. Oh, no, wrong. down, not up. <laughs> ah. All right, I am thoroughly dead. All right, this time try shooting me from inside the fort. You don't want to abandon your fortress. Ah. All right, zombies on the run. All right, go back inside the fort and rearm. Go back inside and rearm. Well, hurry! Get all your darts. Yeah, some cameras would be handy in there. Some sort of tripwire system. This is this is just a five-minute fort. You need a ten-minute fort for that. Yeah. <laughs> what good does the fort do if you abandon its protection? So this time, guys, stay in there and just lift up the blankets and shoot out. No thing. No thing. Let's see here. Let's walk around here. This side is still solid. You can't get through the wood there. The, that'll stop anything. 
Yeah, no kidding. They used to run and cower, and now they actually chase me. They are, uh, hi, Josh War or something. Yeah, Waffles, uh, oh, okay, well, the baby is upstairs watching the video. She's probably very confused for why we're on my wife's phone right now. No zombies in Germany that we have no business to discuss, but it's only a matter of time till you have them, too. All right, let's get ready for another attack. Ah! No, screeching. Oh my gosh, my ears. Ah! Ah! This is a bad zombie attack because my head is just way out there getting demolished by darts. Ow. Ah! Ow! 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 They, they just about shot off my glasses. Ow! Ah, oh no, the ba even the little one's shooting me. Ah, ow! <laughs> I was right in the forehead. I'm going to back out of here before I die. Ah, that, was a good, that was good, guys. you got to hold your ground inside the fort. All right, I'm going to try to attack from a different angle now. Hurry up and, hurry up and rearm. Their aim is good, but in all fairness, they did have a point-blank shot. It's a good thing I have these suckers here. I will be blind. Never use them for woodworking. Use them for nerf darts all the time. Right. <laughs> Terrible man, but a decent dad. Or reverse that, I forget. But we don't know where the zombie's going to come in. Here, I'll cover up that side with this blanket here if nobody's sitting on it. Why are you really scared? You're the one hurting me. All right, that's the, the two-year-old is sitting on that blanket. That's going nowhere. A foot, you know what would be best is a motorcycle helmet. I would be impervious to pain then. Well, you can't predict where a zombie's going to attack. You just never know. Daddy. It's all right. Don't don't panic. I'm just going to poke on through my head and you shoot me, okay? <laughs> Apparently, they can choose where zombies attack. All right, coming in again. The blanket's on full ball! Die! You will die! <laughs> the war screams in there. Uh, ow! <laughs> I'm going to pull my head out of there again. That one somehow went under the glasses. Maybe right on the side of the eye. That was a uh, mystery shot. Yeah, motorcycles are a bad bet for the zombie apocalypse. You hit one zombie and you just go toppling everywhere. Ah, I'm kind of using my phone like a shield here. Hopefully it'll block. Ow! That was in the ear. <laughs> they only, they're only truly happy when they cause me real pain. And they just go crazy. Yeah! They have hundreds of darts in there. They can stay supplied for forever. That's the most important thing to teach your children. Shoot for the head. All right. Let's see here. I'm tempted to go under the chair, so I'm going to have to, like, army crawl. I don't know if I can do that at this point in my life. Plus, once I do that, I'm going to be stuck and just shot in the head mercilessly. Let's take a peek down here and see what's going to happen. <laughs> ah, I get this box out of the way. Ah, ah, ow. Ah, coming in. I'm coming in. Ow. Ow. Cox nerf for making these deadly guns. Ow. Maybe make like the parent safe versions. I'm going to have welts all over my forehead. Ow. Ow. All right. Backing out. Backing out. All right. I'm going to do one more attack here. <laughs> people not answer you on other Periscope videos, that's the whole point. I try to answer on them, but I'm not very good at multitasking. I can only be shot in the head and read so much for one of the other distracts. Are you out of darts? You have a hundred, they get like 400 of them in there. All right, arm up. You know, the babies beat me up as an excuse I use more times than you would uh, believe. It's generally true. All right, let's arm up here. Ah! All right, you can see all the bullets spray, splayed out there. All right, I'm coming in. You're not warned. You got all the bullets in your lap. How are you not ready? They're all right there. All right, well, you just cover her with your shots. There you go. You got to use covering fire when somebody reloads. 
Always have a partner in the zombie apocalypse. The buddy, the buddy system saves lives. It's not just for pools. <laughs> it didn't quite give me a black eye, but it was in that general vicinity. <laughs> There'll be no simulation of killing the infected survivor. That's the last thing I need to do is train them to kill each other. That won't end well. Yeah, well, I have a feeling if I had another zombie here, this, this screaming would turn to crying. I'm not sure if it would be my crying or the other uh, crying, but it was, ow! <laughs> there's, there's no time out with these kids. Yeah, All right, I'm coming in. <laughs> Arr, <laughs> hey, we don't use Harry Potter swear words. All right, cool it, guys. Uh oh, I moved it out of the way. Ha ha! I've got a blocker now. Are you gonna shoot me too? You've had that gun for the whole time. Can I pull that back? Yeah, can I pull it back so you can actually shoot? They have a dog. The dog rightly ran in fear because there are darts running. No, the dog's running. The darts are flying one or the other. All right, I think that's enough combat for today. So anyway, <laughs> this, uh, I'm still finishing up that book, uh, Only Dead on the Inside, The Parent's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Uh, ben Bella Books. It'll be coming out eventually. In the meantime, we'll continue perfecting the week, uh, the techniques here. I will suffer all the welts and bruises and test everything out so you don't have to, and you can use these techniques to save your life and or make all your children scream and tear and hate you. Until next time, catch you later.